Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We switched locations just for variety. Welcome to it. We're gonna dig through. We're gonna play with new drugstore makeup. There is a ton of it. I have a full face set out. I have an action plan. I am so excited. Three, two, one, let's jump on in. Oh my gosh. I wanna share with you all that I'm very, very aware that my hair could use a little zhuzh and TLC as well. And I just had Rick Henry here doing my hair and you guys know how I was like, I'm trying to copy him and I'm trying to do the twirl whirl kind of, I don't know, the bend and snap hairdo. It literally comes out so wavy and so beachy. I showed you guys right after he did my hair over on IG, I was just like, oh my gosh, like dream hair. And I haven't wanted to wash it um, just because like it looks so good for so long the way that he does it, it holds. This is day three. I'm just gonna do a little dry shampoo and re-wave it. But I asked what iron he uses. I don't know why I was like shy to ask before. I didn't wanna be like, hey, let me copy everything that you do. But I'm at that point. This barrel, are you kidding me? Look, compared to my head, it is like literally like gives you the space that you need to get that perfect wavy curl. This is the one and a quarter bioionic. I'm so excited to use that. I did restock on some inner scents. James loves it so much. Um, oh, this is the I Create Volume. I haven't tried this one. He's like, we should get backups and just stock up. And this company has no clue who I am. If you saw that video, I'll link it below if you didn't. I literally go through everything Inner Sense. I'm obsessed with this line and it's like my new hair fave. Also, what other things can I talk about while I look like this in front of the world before I put makeup on? Um, Dashing Diva Gloss Ultra Shine gel stickers. I'm wearing the pink ones right now. They're so tacky that I love them, especially for holiday season. What is better than like kind of a sweater cardigan print snowflake glitter pink situation? Come on. I don't know if I like the accent nail too much, but everything else is just like, <gasps> I tried to match. That's why I'm wearing this sweater. Actually, I need to get this sweater off. It's going to make me crazy. It's going to make me insane. Um. Okay. First up, we need primer. Revlon has a new one. This is the Grip 16 Hour Matte Primer. This is a superfood detox blend. I was reading up on it on Amazon actually. I really like how they display the different shops, like whether it's Maybelline or Revlon or whatever it might be. I just love the visual and the breakdown. Like you can really get to know products if you go over and go to the actual shops on Amazon. I've been doing that recently and it has sparked or reinvigorated a love affair for drugstore makeup that I haven't had in a minute because it just looks glossy and new. And you know, you go into the stores recently and it's like, you can't really tell what is what, what is new, what is not, at least where I'm at, I feel like all the displays are kind of dusty and it's like, is anything that exciting? It just hasn't felt that way. So I'm gonna link below to my Amazon shop. I have been terrible at doing that, but this is one that I saw as a newer product from Revlon that I specifically hunted out. I also saw, cause I was looking for like, I want a new foundation to try out. I don't know how this is gonna go. This is the Tinted Foundation Buildable Natural Finish from LA Girl. You guys know I've had a lot of luck with LA Girl. Their concealers are great. Their eyeshadows are great. We're gonna be playing with Moira eyeshadows today. This is because of Rose from Rose and Ben. She likes this brand so much. Shut the front door. I don't know that we will be doing this one. It's maybe a little too out of my comfort zone for today, but we have the Oh My Feelings Juicy Series palette as well. I picked this up at my grocery store at HEB, Heb. So we'll play with that. Will we? Does this even, I have, I'm, yeah, we can do pinkies, pink neutrally. Okay, Um. or shoot, oh, you know what else I got? I did get from Juvia's place. I just have to show you this. I have not stood in front of an eyeshadow palette and just like jaw open was like thinking of the different ways that I would use the palette in a hot minute. I had to buy it. I just had to, it just sucked me right in. This to me is like, Perfect. It has glitter, it has metallic, it has deep browns in a variety of different tones. <gasps> oh, is 
satisfaction. Back to foundation, we are gonna try this. I passed on LA Girl uh, holiday palette this year, but they always kill it with their holiday palettes. So if you are interested, I would say go for it. Their formula is really, really nice. I just didn't do it this year. I do have this Monday Feels Color Changing Makeup Sponge from Wet n Wild. So I am gonna go dampen this. This is the before. Uh, okay. That didn't change color at all. I don't understand it. Color changing makeup sponge. Temperature activated. Oh, so I have to use hot water. What the heck? Why? 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 Why do we need that? I don't know. I thought it was a cute sponge. Um, I picked it up for this video because I was like, well, I don't know. It kind of seems different. <laughs> um, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> Why? <laughs> like, honestly, why? Okay, so we are primed and we are now gonna go into what I hope is a good foundation. It looks nice and thick, okay? That's a good sign. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna go in, boom, boom, boom. Pat, 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 smack, smack, smack. Um, I can tell you already, I absolutely do not like this sponge. So there's that. It's soaking up way too much of the product. Like I put a fair amount on my skin, on the back of my hand, and it's just like drinking it in. Ew. All right, so we're off to a really terrible start. I don't really like the foundation either. Shucks, let's try a brush. Let's see if we can make it happen. I usually like LA Girl. I like all their stuff usually so much. It's just a texture thing. For me, it has kind of that waxy moisturization texture that I am personally not a fan of, that I feel can exaggerate things that you likely don't want exaggerated. I mean, like it didn't really, it didn't really cover much, did it? Mm. We're gonna go into this cream shop, CC Cream and Light. This is full coverage. Let's see how this feels on top of it. Oh, F, are you kidding me? Stop this right now. How is that, is that right? Is that normal? I like it, wow, okay. I am kind of amazed at the moment. I'm a little bit wowed by how lightweight, like you guys, you open this up and it is like water that comes out, buyer beware, but it smooths on your skin so beautifully. It feels like nothing, but it definitely gives some coverage, which is what I am into, so I like that. I mean, I have the other foundation I don't like underneath it, so I'm curious to try it on its own. Pretty dang good. We are now gonna go into Milani Conceal and Perfect. These are the under eye brighteners, kind of a similar packaging to um, Maybelline Neutralizer. This one at number two had a nice peachy tone to it that I thought would be really nice and color correcting, but you know, I always wanna see if you can get some coverage out of these products as well. So we're gonna figure that one out together. Not bad. Now we're gonna go into the Moira Lavish Pressed Finishing Powder. I am excited to try this out because every time I see this online, it looks so incredibly smooth. Just has that velvet finish and I have high hope. It's super affordable. People say great things about it, so let's Let's hope. Yeah, that's nice. I'm gonna take one of my favorite brushes. This is from Letitia Lamac. This is the FF4. I've loaded up both sides. I'm really packing that underneath the eye to brighten everything up. Hitting the areas that crease on me around my mouth. Hit the forehead a little. I really like it, that is super nice. Okay, we're gonna now go into a bronzer. I've tried this before, I love it so much, but I now have the shade, it was shade 250 that I wanted to try. You guys, these bronzers are ridiculous. It's a waterproof bronzer from L'Oreal. It's the infallible Freshwear bronzer, and as much as I'm trying to go more in the natural kind of a realm with things, this is one that I'm just like, you know what? This is just performing on me so incredibly well. 
and it does not blotch. It's really long wearing. It looks good on the skin. I'm just gonna um, keep reaching for it. You can't win them all. I don't know if the lighting is doing it justice, but it just like literally blends so incredibly well. You almost don't even need a mirror. It's just like that kind of a bronzer where it's just like boom, boom, boom. And if you feel like, oh, that needs to be blended in more or I made a mistake, you can easily manipulate it and move it and buff it and it will blend out. I'm just a big fan, big, big fan. Next up, blush. We're gonna go into the new Wet n Wild Monday Feels Blush. I just thought this collection was kind of cute. I, I don't know if I just had a bad attitude or what, but I was like, Monday feels, yeah, that's cute. Like it kind of had a little bit of an attitude. All the products had all these little cartoons on them. And I just thought it was kind of fun. So I got suckered in. I got this at the grocery store too, which was kind of funny. It's just like a nice matte dusty rose shade. And I have typically had a really good time with Wet n Wild blushes. So if you need something that blends well, wears well, and you don't wanna spend 30 bucks, they make great blushes. Beautiful. We are adequately blushed. That is really nice, actually. I super love that. So we went to CVS earlier and I picked this up just at random. I was like, I've never tried this one. Like, this is super pretty. I feel like this is gonna be so nice. <gasps> Oh, wow. Okay, let's just look. Oh my gosh. Ooh, ooh, ignore the bra strap right now. Oof. Oh my, oh my. That is very, very reflective. I'm a little nervous. Sweaty, sweaty, tauty, right? I'm gonna make myself look sweaty. Here we go. Bam. Sweaty, 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 tauty. Oh my gosh, you guys, the video is James. Please go give that a watch if you haven't. Oh my gosh, he's gonna hate this. <laughs> James does not love the highlight that I do sometimes. We joke around about it, he doesn't care that much, but he roasted me for like 20 minutes straight in the narrate my video video. There was so much more that we cut out, but it was hysterical. He did such a good job narrating. It was funny. I'll link it below. Ooh, 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 right? Oh my gosh. I feel like I really wanna pop on brows before I get to the eyes. I just sometimes feel like you really should do brows first and then you can kind of see how everything is framed. Not sure how I feel about the brows. It's not the greatest brow day, not the worst. I have used this guy in the past. I just had an urge to revisit it. This is the Bite Size Brow Palette in Neutral Brown. I'm gonna set the eyes first with the Lasting Priming Cream Shadow 2-in-1 Primer Plus Shadow. I just have a feeling this is gonna be a dupe for Painterly Paint Pot. Yeah, it feels about right. I'm just gonna go ahead in with, this is a Zoeva. This is a concealer buffer. There's a huge part of me that really just wants to dive on in to this palette right here. I think just to see the texture, I am gonna go into the shade Better Half on that bottom row. Start on the outer edge and just pull this into the crease. It's really pretty. It's very soft, very easy to blend. I also like the primer. I'm gonna hop over to the Juvia's Place palette just to get a little bit darker on that outer edge, just a tiny little bit. I'm also gonna go in to Juvia's palette right here. I'm just gonna, with my finger, go on the lid. That is so interesting. It looks so different applied. It almost has this green, like golden green tone to it. Does not match <laughs> the pink nail polish or anything like that. I'm actually gonna try and shift it a bit by going into the more cool tone champagne shade toward the end there. 
Let's kind of cover it up a little bit, change my mind real quick. Quick change. It's gonna be full metallic lids today for me. It's fun, it's kind of festive. Just go into that lighter shade with a fluffier brush. This is the Letitia Lamac FF6. And I'm just gonna get kind of above the socket just to blend and blur everything out. I'm actually gonna use this shade right here as my liner today. So I'm just gonna take an angled brush. This is a BK208. I am going to spritz a little bit of this Lock 24 Hour Setting Mist from Revlon to dampen it and then just go on in. I'm liking this. It's a very simple look, but that's okay. The skin is kind of a little more undone today and I'm into it. I'm gonna pop on some mascara. I am breaking my rules with things being more purified in formulation. I wanna try this out. This is newer from Revlon. It's one of their new, new launches. It says up to 24 hour wear. This is the Revlon So Fierce Lifted High Volume Mascara. So I am gonna be doing a check-in with this makeup. We will see how this holds up. Mm. I'm not that impressed immediately. Guys, I've been using, I say it wrong, you guys know, Kajir Wise is what it looks like. Fit Glow Beauty and Ilia RMS Beauty even. I am preferring the performance of natural mascaras, which is blowing my mind, because normally it's the other way around. This is just like not, it's just not doing it for me. I am gonna pop on lashes, so that's fine. But this brush is a little strange. It's like swirly whirly, like it's just got a weird thing going. I'm gonna take this Koki liner in Dusty Rose and first just outline the crap of my lips. I just love the way lining right here looks. It can look kind of crazy at first until you put the lipstick on top, but I'm still into this technique. And I'm gonna pop on this Juvia's Place in Nubian Sand. Just kind of pat it in the center of the lip, go on top it with a little gloss. How pretty is that though? Like before I destroy it, let's take a look. How gorgeous is that bullet? Oh, I love that. That is so pretty. <gasps> So much. We're gonna go in with some clear gloss. This is from PYT. This is totally clean formulation and it's just a clear gloss. And I was at Ulta and it was there. And I was like, you know what I need? Another clear gloss. Let's buy it. And so I did. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know what happens to me in Ulta sometimes. I just start grabbing things and I'm just like, shiny, shiny, must try. And it is a joy still with what I do here on YouTube that I get to try and explore and experience so much. That joy has never surprisingly dulled down. I'm always excited to try new makeup. So yeah, Ooh, that's minty. I actually really like the lip. Let's pop on some lashes. I have these that I picked up at HEB, the Diosa Goddess Lash Collection. This is the Athena Lash. It just looked fluffy and pretty, and I am really done with the over, overly voluminous lashes. I don't know, these might even be too big. We're gonna see. I've never tried this brand, so I was like, why not? Let's give it a go. It looked interesting. Have you guys heard of this brand? Let's see, sometimes lashes, ooh. Oh my. Okay, those are big, but they kind of, they're kind of flattering. I'm kind of into it. Okay, I'm gonna give them a cute little trim. To be honest, this always terrifies me. I have the Lash Liner Hybrid Glue from Velour. We're gonna, um, I'm just gonna put it on the band. Those are so beautiful. Oh my goodness. The glue is drying. I might have to adjust a thing or two, but we are doing a full day wear test. So I'm gonna go make myself some soup. 
I'm gonna do a few things around the house. We're gonna do some check-ins. I have some errands to run. When it gets dark out tonight, we will do a full wrap up of how everything A to Z wore. But so far, I'm not mad at this makeup. I actually really love these lashes. I feel like I'm gonna have to get a different glue and maybe fuss a little bit. But the shadow, the lashes, like I feel like it's working. I like it. I'm not as color cozy coordinated as I would like to be, um, but that's okay. That happens when I'm trying new things. I kind of just go for it sometimes and it doesn't end up being perfect, you know, but we're just testing things out. So I'm gonna go do my day and I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. So this is my delicious rice ramen meal. It is the easiest thing to make, but it is so incredibly satisfying. So I have beef broth. You could use bone broth. I'm doing rice ramen. I have celery and onion. I call this crunch soup because I don't put the celery or onion in until the very, very end. And then it's like crunchy with the noodles. Two eggs in here, stir it around, season the crap out of it, pour it over cheese and sour cream. Mwah. It is so satisfying. If it's a cold day and you just want like noodle, but you want protein as well, I'm telling you. Why am I holding this? Like I'm sponsored by them, I'm not. But this is the ramen that I use because I grew up on top ramen. Okay, no shame. I can make top ramen like 50 different ways. It was called survival. It like tastes like my childhood and early adult living on my own life. But this is like the healthier way, right? Comfort food. It is so comforting. I'm going for it, I'm really excited. I'm really craving this. So anyway, the gloss is about to just be destroyed. The rest of the makeup is doing all right. It's gonna be so good. It smells so good already. The makeup is holding up beautifully. I love the powder, loving the blush, the foundation. We know it was a journey, but the eyeshadow has stayed gorgeous. The lips, I just reapplied because we know that soup was gonna destroy them. I did use my new curling iron literally like less than five minutes, just bam, bam, bam. And I feel pretty good. We're about to go run some errands and the dog definitely knows. The leg, the kickstand we call it is what gets me. You're a good boy. Puka, you look beautiful. So gorgeous, so handsome. I see you're holding your tongue in and I'm really proud of you. You're doing great. Can you give me five? Good boy. We are grocery shopping and I picked up PR. We'll be filming a big old PR unboxing very soon. Oh. No, the lash is being funny. Oh, he's getting ice cream. I got this one, this yes. one, this Good one, and this one. The amount of ice cream we keep in our freezer it's awesome. <laughs> Is it awesome? It's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> this right here, this brand, Supernatural, if you see this at Whole Foods or wherever, it's so good. This is the kefir, not kefir, which I used to call it that. It's so delicious in smoothies, good for your gut. They also have chocolate milk. It's so good. So my diet is dominantly made up of eggs, and I've never felt better. Side note, this is in my Amazon storefront. So random, oh my gosh, mineral rich, delicious coconut curry is everything. Oh, this mushroom chicken, delicious. Butter chicken, phenomenal. Um, I am now in my pajamas. It is the very end end of the day. It's like 9.30 at night. By the way, if you follow me on IG, you know I love these. Not sponsored, anything like that. I actually bought them at Whole Foods. They are the most comfy, cozy and flattering fit. Like they fit the booty so perfectly. They're not like what I call saggy, saggy butt, like saggy diaper booty. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, <laughs> I digress. Let's look at the makeup. Let's take a look. We're a little smear central under here. The foundation is not doing super great. We all know that. The concealer, so-so. I think it's better for more of a natural, like I wanna look super fresh. I don't want any detectable makeup on my face. And it is more of a color correcting formula, brightening formula. So uh, yeah, those are kind of out. The primer, so-so. I'll have to try it again with a better foundation. The powder, Moira, Moira. I'm loving it. Silky, smooth, touched up my makeup beautifully. I really like the eyeshadow. Juvia's Place, oh my gosh. Hello, sparkles. It's really late now, so you can't see how good 
it looked earlier. It was just like, click, 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 click. Like it was just so nice. Just like the most beautiful, dazzling, micro fine glitter. The mascara from Revlon, pass. Um, the lashes, love them. <laughs> I love them. I love them so much. The lip combo, mwah, I will wear it again and again and again. And I think this video is probably so super long. So I'm gonna get going, but thank you so much, you guys, for hanging out with me. Full day wear test. Thumbs this up if you want more like it. I love you all so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.